Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a new modification on the GR Yaris. So we're back to real world Yaris content. It's a bit of a murky March day, but let's see what we can get done today. If you've clicked on the thumbnail, then you already know what we're installing. So let's go and get to it. So first of all, I want to say a massive shout out to um, another fellow YouTuber, JBCTR. So I'll put a little clip of his channel here. It does some great automotive content, but he's the reason why we've got a hold of the DNA Racing rear carbon strut brace. It wasn't a part that I was going to get, but unfortunately his car has been taken off the road and he sold it on to me. So he did an install, which I hope you can go and click and find out. Uh, but stay here, we're going to do uh, install ourselves, but we're going to do it slightly different. So one thing that JBCTR found was you couldn't put the uh, rear boot carpet back in with the extra support bars. So what we're going to try and do is try something a little bit different and see if we can do it. Another person that I just want to say a massive shout out to is Cam Walton. Um, so he's the reason why we can try this. I want to keep some of the originality of the GR Yaris. I don't want to um, make any permanent changes and he's got this amazing race prepped uh, GI Yaris that he's got at the moment and he managed to sell on to me the boot carpet and boot floor that we're going to use and modify for this install so massive thank you to Cam. So here we can see everything that we're going to need so we've got the strut brace from C uh, JBCTR, uh, the support struts, hopefully these are all the tools we're going to need so a ratchet set, spanner set, scalpel, uh, allen keys and trim removal tool then this is what we've got from cam so we've got the left and right boot carpets the boot floor and these polystyrenes so uh, what we're going to do first of all is strip out the rear and get this carbon bar, bar in that's going to be the easier section and then we'll work on modifying this lot here so yeah let's hop to it so here you can see I'm treating the boot carpets with a bit of smart fabric just so they repel stains and uh, dirt. Right, so now you can see the scale of the issue. So if you don't mind the race car look and the naked battery, then don't worry about some of what we're gonna do here. Uh, but you can see here, these are the bolt holes that those extra supports go to. And they're underneath that floor carpet and those uh, polystyrene. So what we've got to do is remove these. Now, there's three pop clips on there, which will come out with your trim removal tool. Um, now these plastics here will just pop out by pulling on them. I've already had a tug. Uh, but there are some clips in here which are a bit tricky to get so what I'm going to do is show you on the replacement carpets how to get those out because it's easy to show you. So as you can see this is the replacement carpet here and you can see there's these two little grooves here. Now behind here there's two like little clips that these grooves go into and grab onto. Now it's hard to show you because it's going to be quite tight in there but the best way to do it is the plastic will kind of come in here and grab just get a small screwdriver in here and just leave it open and it should come out fine so let's try and get that out now for you Right, so that's the first piece of carpet out. As you can see, there's just some purple clips along here. And just pull on them and they're plastic to come out. We're gonna leave them how they are for now. Next up, same thing on the other side. this bolt here and match one is over yeah focus over here down here um, so we need to take those bolts out so we can pass through the carbon brace I believe it is a 12 millimeter bolt so let's just double check 12 millimeter bolt and it's got the washer that we need to put into the, those end caps as well so we'll keep that to one side There we go, there's the second one. So again, we'll put that to one side 
Uh, now we're going to have to try and get this in. It is a little bit tricky and I believe we're going to need a, a spanner to get these in. Before we can fit the bar though, we need to figure out where in the carpet we need to make a hole so that the bar can go all the way through. So let's just see if we can figure that out now. Right, so the hardest part of this is this hole here has this screw that goes through and that's going to hold the strut brace on. But the issue is, how do you figure out where to cut through here? Um, personally, um, there's plenty of different other ways of doing it. But I personally think the best way to do it is fit the carpet, fit this bolt in here, and then put a bit of dab of toothpaste on the end of here, push that against the back of the carpet, and then you know exactly where to cut up. So let's try and give that a shot now. Right, you want to fit it well, but not uh, perfectly well, because these, these up here are quite hard to get out. So what I'm going to do now, toothpaste on screw, and then dab. This is only going to go in a couple of turns. Fill the bolt. There we go. So now you can see on the back side we know exactly where that bolt's gonna go. So let's cut out um, that and then it should fill up nicely. Now I'm using a scalpel but you can use a Stanley whichever. There we go, so you can see I've cut the hole slightly smaller than the dab. Bear in mind, that hole there, the end of the brace, as you can see, is a lot thicker, so this is all gonna be covered up if it's not too perfect. Let's try and refit it now. So to bring you in close up, you can see the bolt fits in nicely there. In fact, if we unscrew it, you can see just behind there, you can see the threads for the strut brace. So now we've got both in. The other side, we need to try and fit the uh, bar in. Right, so I tried to get you in a place where you can see. So we've got a bolt hole here and a bolt here. I think the easiest way to put this in is going to be from the inside. So, as you can see, the brace has a little hole here to get your spanner in, um, but that's facing the in, inside the car. So, the nice DNA writing is on the outside. So, we're going to do this from the inside. I think it's the easiest way. Right, so be really careful on the battery. I know it's got a cover but don't really want to bridge those two terminals and carbon does conduct electricity, so be careful. Wow, have I put holes in the wrong place? Right, so it turns out the fit is so snug, these are gonna be a bit wider. They need to be about the width of the end so how do we forget that out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit this onto the carpet and then draw around this and we know how big to make the hole So I've cut this hole slightly smaller because we can always make it bigger, but we can't make it smaller. So, and that fits lovely into there. That actually gives us clearance. Let's do the same on the other side. So again on this side, fits up nicely and both discs that we cut were about the same size. So let's try and offer this up again. Wow, that fits like a glove. That literally just like clicked into there. Right, let's see if we can get these screws in. This is gonna be a little bit difficult through these access hatches. Let's try and get you a bit closer.
Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Alright, so you're gonna need a very small spanner. I have a set of stubby ones, but these are just too thick, so I might need to see if we can find another one. This is one of the most tedious bolts ever. Right, so that's the carbon strut brace in, and as you can see, it looks fantastic. And you could just leave it just there. Just put the uh, boot carpet in for go, and the um, uh, polystyrene's under here, and just keep it like that. But what we want to do is add on these uh, additional braces. So what I'm going to do first of all is uh, fit them and then we'll see uh, where they don't line up with the uh, boot polystyrenes. So you have two different styles of hardware. We've got this dome nut and bolt and then this cap head. Cap head goes into the gold piece, dome head goes into here. Right, so they're both in, and see how that thing is strong. That's in there tight. That's what she said. <laughs> it's not fully tightened down, haven't tightened everything down, um, but we'll try and put the boot polystyrenes in and we'll see the nature of the issue there. So the boot polystyrenes, as you can see, do not go in, neither of them. So what we're going to do, we're going to figure out how much we want to chop off this and chop them down a little bit. Right, so I don't know what is the best tool to chop polystyrene, but we're just going to try it rudimentary. We can see it kind of fits there and there is a gap here which should line up with this bit here. So I'm thinking if we take off, take off this top section here and see what we're left with. I don't know what's the best thing to cut polystyrene with, so I'll grab the saw. So as you can see, that actually fits really nicely in there. And I just literally cut out that little top section there. It does need a little bit of clean up and we'll probably have to vacuum out this uh, from all the polystyrene siren pellets. But we can use this blue line to match it across to the other piece that goes here and then just cut and uh, do, the, do exactly the same thing. So let's give that a shot now. So luckily Toyota leave these handy little arrows so we know which way it goes round. So what I'm just gonna do is take the two together and then follow this line across and then we'll do a matching cut. So there we go, so we cut off um, this section and this section. Now, as you can see, they fit in exactly how stock, so we still retain some of the storage, which is gonna be useful, and some of the uh, like the tire uh, puncture repair kit. Um, we had to cut off slightly more on this side than we did on this side, and that is just because it's gotta get around the battery. It is a bigger piece, so it's a little, it needs a bit of maneuvering. So what we need to do now is just tidy this up. We'll get the vacuum, vacuum out all the uh, bits of polystyrene from everywhere that's collected everywhere and then um, we'll look at what we need to do to the boot carpet So 
So what I'm trying to do here is just mark on the boot carpet where those support struts intersect with the carpet to try and figure out roughly where we want to make these holes. So I've made two marks where they intersect and then we're going to remove the bars and then slide the carpet underneath and then have a look from a top down view where they intersect with the carpet. At this point I start to notice that I'm going to need to extend the line so I do with a bit more painters tape and then we're going to refit those support structures and as you can see I'm letting them droop down and then marking it on the tape where they cross over so we've got a point from two axis. So as you can see uh, the support leg is in, mocked up. It's pretty difficult, it's a case of cutting, cutting again, cutting fine, fine bits out, but it's a proof of concept, so that should work. And if we don't like it, we can always go back to the plain boot floor. Right now, we have the polystyrene's in as well, because that gives support to the boot floor. So what we're gonna try and do now is mimic the same thing on the other side. Um, again, it's just measure, measure, mark, cut, cut a little bit more, cut a little bit more. Um, Let's see if we can get the other side done. We should be able to use this as a reference, so let's try that. Right, so as you can see, we have the two holes now and the left side now fits up. Future me here, I've just paused it here just to show you how I did the other side. So I put the painter's tape down and drew around it from the edge to the right hand hole and then took that and flipped it straight over to the other side so that I knew where to start cutting that second hole. And that, of course, is also bolted down just under there so that's like a kind of test mock-up fit so now what we need to do is fit all the bars and get the hardware like finger tight and make sure it fits and see how it looks then right so as you can see the support bars need to go through the carpet before it goes in so now I'm gonna try and secure some of these underneath here. It might be hard to see, and I'll see if I can get a camera down there. So if you can see underneath there, the hardware's in there and there, just finger tight, just so we can line it up with the center ones now. Right, so getting this in, because this is under such tension, it is quite a tight fit, but that is in, absolutely smacking. So what I'm gonna do now is start tightening up all the hardware underneath, and then uh, we'll start rebuilding the boot, and we're almost there. Okay, so underneath here, you can see the hardware's fully mounted in both corners there and we just need to tighten up this hardware in the center and then on the edges and then we should be fitted. Oh, we need to, now we've got the hardware in there. Actually, we just need to put the polystyrene's in. So that's the first one in. Okay. And as you can see, these fit in the little tabs here. Now that's a completely usable boot still. Let's get these uh, tightened up. Last bit is we'll go and just tighten up these two here. Yeah. So now all the hardware is in and tightened. As you can see, you could go full uh, race car and just have everything here and get rid of the boot carpet and floor and the side 
carpets and just go full race car but this is a daily for me so um you could go full daily and just have the bar and not have the center two pieces uh, but i thought let's try this as a bit of a hybrid and we've gone full race car slash daily so keeping full interior and remember all these parts these parts were off cam um cam's uh, race car so we can return it completely back to stock got all the bits over here and i'm just going to transport over uh, stuff like the tow and hook and everything into my um polystyrene's when we got a moment so i hope you've uh, enjoyed this i will get some close-up shots and some uh, beauty shots and then uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below uh, to this install So this install is complete. As you can see, we've got the best of both worlds. We've got the race car, um, strip race uh, to match the one in the front, but we've still got all the creature comforts of a modern uh, daily car, which this is for me. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, as you can see, I think it's turned out really well just what i was after again i just want to say a massive thank you to jbctr um, for sorting out the strut brace but also to cam uh, for sorting out all the boot carpets as i say it turned out exactly how i wanted and i'm thrilled to go and try it on track um it looks really stiff like uh, if you grab this bar and shake it the whole car shakes um so if you enjoyed this video smash a like subscribe is always appreciated but if you didn't like it that's perfectly fine put it down in the comments down below how i can do it better next time until then goodbye